Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. So in this video, I will be explaining that how to install the BlueStack on Windows 10 or Windows 11 with the best optimized setting. Now before installing, there are a few changes that you have to make so that you should not have any kind of problem while installing the BlueStack. So for that, you have to click on your Windows search, type turn Windows and in the suggestion you will be getting turn Windows feature on or off. Click on it. Now this kind of windows feature box will be up. Now here you have to scroll down and you have to look for the virtual machine platform. So you make sure that this option has been checked. Then you have to also check windows hypervisor platform. Check this option and I scroll down and you will also find windows subsystem for Linux. Now all these three options must be checked. And once you have checked them, you have to click on OK. And then it will be applying the changes and probably it will ask you to restart. So restart the computer so that you should not have any problem while installing the BlueStack. So once you have restarted the computer, you will have to come to this website of BlueStack. The link will be in the description. Now once you come up here, you will find the latest version of BlueStack that is BlueStack 10. But if you want to go and download the older version, then you can click on the all version that is below of download. And here either you can download BlueStack 5 or BlueStack 10. You can also check the other version that you will find in the below section. So in this video, I will be downloading the BlueStack 10. So I will have to click on it. The downloading will be started. Once downloaded, open the downloaded folder. Now right click on the BlueStack installer. Click run as admin. Click on yes. And here you have to click on install now. Now before that, now it's also recommended that instead of downloading and installing the BlueStack on your C drive, you should go ahead and install on any other kind of drive like drive E or drive D. So you can click on customize installation, then click on change folder. So if you have any other drive apart of Windows C, then you can select the location of that particular drive. But if you have only one drive, then you can keep this selected to C drive only. Then you have to click on install now. Click on I agree. So the downloading will be started. Now in case still if you have any issues like in compatibility setting, then probably you will have to enable the virtualization from the BIOS. I've already created a video on that. You can check that. The link will be in the description. Okay, so once the blue stack has been installed, now you can close it. Now we also need to make sure that there should not be any kind of problem. So look for the blue stack icon on your desktop, right click on it, click on properties, click on the compatibility tab. In the compatibility mode, check this box that says run this program in compatibility mode and select windows 8 from here. Then check the box that says run this program as an administrator, click on apply, click on ok and now double click on the blue stack icon. Click on yes and the blue stack will now be coming up without any kind of problem. So once the blue stack has been installed, now you have to click on multi instance manager that is on the very left hand corner. Click on it, then click on start and it will be loading up. So you have to wait and once it get loaded on the very right of it you will find the setting gear icon you have to click on it so now here in the performance only the cpu allocation keep this selected to four core only the memory allocation depending that what kind of ram you have so in order to find out your ram you can click on your windows search type system from the suggestion click on system information and let's say i have 16 gigabyte of ram so I can go ahead and select 8 gigabyte that is high. But if you have 8 gigabyte of RAM, then you can go with the 4 gigabyte. Okay, the performance mode you have to select to high performance. The frame rate you can keep it to 60. But in case if there is a problem, then you can reduce to 30. And now if you have the high end PC, then what you can do, you can enable this option that says enable high frame rate. And you can increase the frame rate from here. But this is only for the people who have the high end PC with the high configuration. But if you have the low end PC, then you can just disable this option. 
then finally click on save changes so now it will ask you to restart so you can restart the computer and once the computer get restarted the next time when you will bring up your blue stack you need to make a right click on the windows icon click on task manager in the task manager you have to look for the blue stack blue stack 10 right click on it click on go to details look for bluestack 10.exe right click on it over up to set priority and make it to high or real time okay and after that once you will enjoy the blue stack you will find that it will be well optimized and it will be giving you the best performance without any kind of problem so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to hit the like and subscribe for more related videos till then take care bye bye